Hey guys, how are you doing? Trust me, you are doing fine. So guys, long time now. Um, today I will make a recipe. I'm gonna show you how to make a recipe for diabetes uh, patient. Okay, someone asked me about this uh, recipe. I see I'm gonna do it here so that you can see it. Okay, this is a fufu. How to um, prepare it for diabetic person. So watch to the end, okay? I will show you the process, uh, how you are going to prepare it. And you're going to like it. Thank you so much. Like this video. Share it to your loved ones. You don't know who this might, might help, okay? Let's just dive into this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel. Love you all. Keep watching. <music> So guys, I will be using cauliflower. You can see it cauliflower and the oatmeal. In Dutch, they call um, oatmeal half a flocken. And the cauliflower in Dutch is called bloom and cool. Okay, this is the most uh, thing, two things we're going to use to make the fufu. Just, um, if you can get it in the supermarket, cauliflower and oatmeal oatmeal is so nice it doesn't have uh, much uh, it doesn't have much fat and bloom and coal is a vegetable it's a very nice vegetable and um, it has a lot of vitamin in it so i will go on now and uh, prepare the cauliflower and set it aside and just keep watching guys as i want to remove the 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 flour from it when i remove it now i have to cut it into pieces into a small sizes after cutting it into small sizes i have to wash it very properly wash it very pro properly but sometimes because sometimes you can find some sign sand inside it so wash it two three times you can also use very nice thing to wash it wash it very nice okay guys so keep watching now i'm washing it very nice okay yeah so guys although i did not show it but i use apple cedar vinegar to wash it very nice okay you can use it and wash it properly before you start you can start cooking it now after washing it you can now add a small little water to cook it I'm adding a small little water, not too much water to cook it. You can cook it for uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Whenever you touch it and it is soft, you know that it is done. Okay. I'm, I'm going to cook it for 10 to 15 minutes. When it's soft, then we go on and show you how you can also prepare it. Now, this is um, the, the oatmeal. I will use. I, I will now blend the oatmeal. Guys, I'm not going to show you everything here because I don't want the video to be too long. I will go on now and blend the, the oatmeal off camera and that's what we're going to use to prepare this recipe. I will blend it and set it aside and the, the cauliflower is cooking. Okay, now I've touched it. Now it is now soft. When you touch it, it is soft, then it is cool. It is um, good to go. Then you can now start blending it, okay? Now I have to off the, um, the light. I used to cook it and bring it down from the fire. I have to remove the water. I have to sieve it. You can see what I'm doing. Sieve it or you can use, um, yeah, you can use your spoon and bring it out separate it from water because this water we are going to use to we are going to use it to cook it okay now get your blender add it in your blender and also add the small water in it to blend for easy blending i'm adding the water we use to cook it because i did not add too much water this water will uh, help us to blend this very smoothly so blend it very smoothly so that it will be just like it will be very soft 
okay just be watching just watch me continue watching you can see everything here yeah so after blending it bring it out and pour it in a pot you are going to use to yeah, cook it uh, cook the oatmeal and the cauliflower now do you see how soft it is the water helped it to be softer okay yeah or now i'm gonna add it in a pot to blend it uh, to cook it it's now it's in the pot so guys continue watching let me allow you to watch this to the end okay guys thank you so much this uh, food is very nice for the diabetes diabetic if you are diabetic you know you're going you're not going to eat too much uh, starchy food it's not good for you what you're going to be eating is what is very nice you can see i have blended the oatmeal this is the one i have already blended from the one i'll be showing you now i've now i'm adding it in the cauliflower that we have blended you are going to be turning it make it a little bit thicker not too thick depending on how you want it okay uh blend it the oatmeal is already the cauliflower is already done but now we will make sure that the oatmeal we also uh, we are going to combine it together with the oatmeal and we can you can see how we are doing it make it to your test if you like a, a little bit harder fufu make it a little bit hard to your test yeah um for me i'm not gonna make it too hard okay so i'm still showing you this is the oatmeal i blended okay i did not miss it anything this is oatmeal and the cauliflower that i am now uh, doing uh, combining together to cook it for a little time do you see that it's getting now thicker so now it is done it is done now you can now choose the uh, soup of your choice if you the the type that like eating your fufu with a uh, soup you can also make it uh, make your soup of your choice you can make okra soup you can make a goosey soup you can make um, okra you can make a uh, ora soup yeah even any food any soup of your choice yeah people different people have different soup you can prepare the soup that will fit suit it for you that you would like to swallow it or oh, yeah i'm going to use to eat it it is done yeah so thank you so much this is how you can manage your life and um, live long even if you, are, you don't have um, diabetes this is very nice food to make you full it is a vegetable it is very nice food you can make it this food will make you to stay healthy okay it's not only the diabetic people or a person that can eat this it's good for you even if you are not you are sound this will help you because it has a lot of vegetable in it okay so so i'm now wrapping it in a, in a yeah in a waterproof if you don't like don't worry you can also dish it out and take your soup and begin to eat enjoy your food me i'm gonna use a goosey soup because me i too like a goosey soup guys <laughs> i'm gonna use the goosey soup to enjoy mine so guys this will be the end of the, my video thank you so much for watching consider to subscribe to my channel share this video to your loved ones i will get back to you in our next video okay i can also even show you how you can enjoy it for those who don't know how to eat fufu now you are gonna um, take the uh, the fufu we have made you with your hand take it and you can you can mold it if you don't like you can also use your whatever you can use put it in a soup and eat some people chew it but for us we don't chew it <laughs> we swallow fufu okay if you like you can chew it if you can like you can also swallow it this is how the food looks like it's so beautiful okay it's so awesome it's so uh, delicious so fantastic so thank you so much share it share it share it to 
people who may like this video who may like to live a healthy who may like to live long god bless you and i say this next time till next time i meet you on my way god bless you bye for now cheers